Good day, everybody. Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Sunday, April 10th, 2022. Palm Sunday. <sighs> well, due to the fact that global warming is in full effect, you can't do the lawn where I live until around now. And even now, it's windy. So I guess that helps on bagging some of the stuff. Uh, so that's that so today is going to be the how do i run my barbecue yes how do i run my lawnmower when i first take it out of the shed the garage or a box this is the way this is the way it was stored in the shed to my right just pulled it out and just started the camera first thing is what you're going to want to do is locate these pieces that you took off last year or the year before. You want to take them off. You want to put one on the right. And you want to put one on the left. And you want to pull up the piece. Ah, oh, excuse me. This, you have to engage this. I think a couple of videos ago, I did that, and it was stuck in the video, whatever. Okay, now you want to put these back. These have squares on them. You can't put them this way because it turns because of the tube. The inside is square. So I like to go as high as you can. Match up the square. Put it back. Okay. Right. So this is what's going to start happening now. As the videos start one year older, one year not the wiser, and you start getting old. And it's not like it's 70. It's like a crisp 56. You can probably hear the wind. But it has to get done. I did the front off camera. Like I said, I have the Sun Joe. If I remember, I'll put that link in the description. And then I'm going to show you a workup of it when I maybe come back here. But the front's more important. That's curve of hand. Wind, wind, wind. Stand wind. Tighten it up the best you can. Okay, perfect. Up. Now would be a good time to tilt it left or right and clean the debris. But be careful, don't tilt it on the filter side. I know I just contradicted myself because the oil will leak through the engine and then your filter will actually become oil clogged. And yes, I did that. I uh, ended up cleaning this last season. There's still fuel in here. You just want to take off the filter. Just to see. Make sure there's no leaves or debris. Shake it out. There you go. So you do a little shake like this. You can purchase a new one. If you feel that's what you want to do every year. Your money. This is relatively nice. No, you can get a compressed air. of some sorts. Maybe clean around it. Okay. Pull it up. The drip. It is at the double line and it's not black. So this is one of those add to use. You don't have to necessarily drain it. Guaranteed to start. Just check and add. Just put it back. Check one more time. 
double line, full. It's still actually a little bit honey looking, and it's been, geez, I don't know how many years. It's been quite some time. We'll top it off with just a little fresh fuel. And when I mean fresh, I mean last year. We're going to be using it for the front and potentially the back. I don't know if I'll get to the back today, but that is none of your business. Okay, this is on, this is on, height is set. We're just going to pull it for camera purposes. Uh, and then we'll put the bag on and kill the video, and thanks for watching. So let's see. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's see if Toro decided to work. We pulled the gauge back. We'll do a little pump because it's been in the winter. One, pump. Two, I feel the blade moving. I am satisfied that my lawnmower is up and running for the 2022 lawnmower season. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we're going to see you in that goddamn next video because we got a lot of motherfucking shit to do this year. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.